I was out Bigfoot hunting in the great white north. Pasta, Natalia. Pumpkin pasta. This is homemade pumpkin pasta. Homemade pumpkin pasta. <laughs> yeah, ask him my address. Yeah, we've had a little bit of issues with that here in the past. I know my food's good, but I don't need all civil servants coming coming to my house for food, right? Like we did with the pasta or with the tacos that one day. Here's my serving for lunch. I get the big boy serving. So you want to probably run through, maybe wrap up the first nest of pasta pretty quickly instead of leaving them out. Now they can dry, right? These little scraps can go. Do you cover your pastas? Um, no, I'm gonna let them dry out. Now normally you'd hang them up and dry them. Normally you'd hang them up and dry them. I'm not gonna do that today. At work, yes. At home, no. Imagine I got swatted on pizza day instead of taco day. Ugh. Everybody would have been so happy. Not bad, how are you feeling? Wow, it looks like I missed a great stream. Mom, it was a great start. We had a great start to the stream and we're having fun. I think we're having a great, great stream today. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? If you guys are happy I'm back, I'm happy. Actually, um, Frosty, we used two whole eggs and 76 grams of pureed pumpkin to go with 300 grams of flour, uh, 75 grams semolina, 225 grams of double zero. One teaspoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of olive oil, teaspoon of salt. Okay? Do you weigh your eggs? I don't, I just use large eggs, large eggs. If you need to add a little bit more liquid, you can wet your hands with a little bit of water, which is what I did one time. I ran my hand underneath the sink once and that's it. Why the semolina and double zero mix? It adds a texture, yeah. Semolina is more coarse and it will add a texture. It'll add a grittier texture. Smitty, what's up, man? Eat it dads for the gift sub. I didn't see Eat It Dads here today. Is Eat It Dads here today? That must've been a while ago, Mama Salty. Gotcha, all the recipes say one large egg. Gritty texture to sop the sauce. Yeah, depending on the sauce, I think instead of doing like a traditional carbonara, we're gonna do a pumpkin cream sauce, a pumpkin cream sauce with guanciale and fried sage, okay? Carbonara flavors, but a little bit more substantial, right? A little bit more substantial. We're gonna go double pumpkin. This is basic white girl pasta 101. I don't know what that was, ma. Don't worry about it, ma. I got you. Tomorrow, guys, we have pizza day. Did I tell you guys about my pizza ideas for tomorrow? We are going to do a, I forget what it is. Obviously, a classic pizza. We are going to do a pear, gorgonzola, and pecan. Pear, pancetta, pecan, gorgonzola, maybe-ish. Some pear, some blue cheese, um, and then maybe some caramelized onions or something. Obviously, we're gonna do it the Neo Neapolitan. Uh, we're gonna do like a fennel, a roasted fennel and an onion pizza, uh, and I don't know what else. We'll figure it out, kinda on the fly. I have six dough balls ready to go. They're in the fridge, okay? So, first things first, I guess we don't need this. Let's get a pot of water going for our pasta. Let's get a pot of water going for our pasta. I sometimes forget to salt my water, so I like to just go ahead and salt it right away. That is actually, I can't believe I'm gonna say this too much. Recarbonara, my game jumped when I would do double boil at the end to really make the, yeah, I like that, Frosty. I like that. 